Dynamic Trader includes several powerful and very unique portfolio scans. And the Dynamic Trader scans will help you to identify the highest probability trade setups for short-term end position trading, including our unique DT end of wave scan and our unique dual time frame momentum reversal scan. Let's take a look at each of these scans and see how valuable they can be to your trading, particularly if you're looking at a large set of markets, many symbols. DT scans are found under the scan menu on the top menu bar. Let's just go down them one at a time and briefly describe. Uh, the DT trade setup scanner. This is a great scan if you have a um, fairly large number of symbols in a portfolio, and it could be futures, our Forex portfolio, our um, stocks or ETS portfolio. And this scans for one of uh, almost 23 different setups we have here that are generally for sh fairly short-term setups for sh short-term volatility breakouts. Um, a lot of these setups come out of the book Street Smarts by uh, Connors and Rashke, as well as the Hit and Run Trading Books by Jeff Cooper. And they've been around for a long time. Uh, they're well described in those books, although our educational material also describes them. Uh, but they're really uh, great for looking for generally pops that are going to last for two or three or four days. Um, and a lot of traders use those if they're relatively short-term traders um, looking for generally volatility breakouts, minor corrective reversals, that sort of thing. So we can actually do these on daily data or on weekly data. And they're trend continuation, short-term breakouts, trend reversal setups, trend continuation setups. Um, so there's a number of setups. Generally, you wouldn't scan for all of these setups, but depending on all kind of the conditions of the market and what you're looking for, you might just be looking for reversal setups or short-term volatility breakout setups. But uh, we've had this in our program for the last two or three versions, and uh, traders just really love it who want to do uh, some relatively short-term trades, looking for those trades that last for two, three, four, and five days. The next scan is for our alert alerts. And uh, we have these built in. These are some of the most probable types of alerts that most of our um, DT users use most of the time based on DT oscillator, DT stochastic, your RSI moving average, regular moving averages, Keltner bands, uh, tra uh, trailing bar highs and lows, and price versus moving average uh, crossovers. So these are these are fairly typical uh, that traders are used to scanning for. Um, we've put them in there. You just have to right click in any one of them to set up the conditions that you want to scan for. Um, and again, it's for you know, if you have a fairly large portfolio of whether it's futures, ETFs, Forex, or stocks, you can scan on a daily basis. It only takes a few seconds to scan if any of the markets are in a high probability position and generally these are for either breakout or reversals. Next we have our DT end of wave scanner and oh boy we've really improved this with DT7 uh, thanks to a lot of input from DT users. So in the what's new for DT7 I go over this scan even a little bit uh, in a little more detail, uh, very quickly you can scan a portfolio of markets for uh, if any of them are as of the last swing point, and I'll show you what that means in a minute, are in a high probability position to complete uh, um, a typical Elliott wave correction or impulse trend. Well, for instance, here's the Dow Jones 30 stocks we have in there. We can scan that. As you can see, it took about five seconds or less. And we scan for all the various um, end of wave time and price positions, including a Gartley and a Butterfly. And we can do it by uh, degree of trend also, short term, intermediate term, and long term. And this, this shows that we scan for both price and time position for the end of wave. And it shows whether it's short term, intermediate, 
um, our long-term position. For instance, here is a WMT. If you just click on the symbol, I'll roll this up, it then gives you or shows you the chart. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to trying to get fewer bars on here just so we can see it a little better. It shows as of the last confirmed swing point, which is down here, it was made right in the typical wave C time price target zone. Now, if we've been doing this on a daily or just every few days, we would have been alerted to the exact day that it entered this time price reversal zone for a typical wave C. And then we can go and look at the momentum position of the market and whatever else with technical position we want to look at. And we can see after it entered the zone, it shot up fairly dramatically. Now, as you remember, this was from the long term swing chart. So um, it takes a, a significant movement to register a new swing point. So we haven't registered a new swing point here off of this wave C uh, target zone. But just, just think if you were doing this on a, you don't even have to do it every day. I usually only do the end of wave swings uh, scanners about once a week on our stock portfolios. Uh, we would have known that this market had reached the typical wave three, three time and price target zones. And <clears throat> right from there, it did react up significantly would have been something to look at. How do I determine these zones? Well, it's after 25 years of working with uh, Elliott Wave and end of wave price and time target zones that I've come up with what are the high probability time and price target zones uh, for the, the typical wave structures. And uh, this is really powerful, especially if you have a large stock portfolio uh, and you want to look through a lot of stocks to find the end of wave targets. In the what's new in DT7, I describe in detail the the new DT dual time frame scanner, and it's our most powerful scan that combines um, relationships of rate of change, the relative strength compared to the broad market and various sectors as well as dual time frame momentum position and identifying the very day that bullish and bearish reversals are made on the daily momentum uh, in the direction of the higher time frame weekly momentum. So I'm going to have you go to what's new in DT7 to learn about that scan. And I briefly mention about these other two scans, the rate of change and DT oscillator and the DT dual time frame momentum reversal scan. Because these uh, scans from prior versions of DT, we've left in uh, the current version, DT7, although we've combined the information from both of those scans into the new DT7, DT dual time frame scan. So please check out the what's new in DT7 to learn about the most powerful scan uh, that we've had uh, yet for Dynamic Trader. The DT portfolio scans, will they're going to give you a powerful edge to identify the best trade setups for any market in any time frame. The DT educational material will teach you all about each scan and how to use them for practical trade strategies. So I hope you've seen from this brief introduction to these scans how useful they're going to be to you, particularly if you're a stock ETF trader are looking at a wide number of futures or Forex markets.